Dear colleagues, this is phacoemulsification of an intumescent cataract. The side port has been made. Now, this is the main incision. It's a 2.8 millimeter incision. Now, in this case, I'm going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. This is an air bubble and underneath this air bubble, the tripan blue dye is injected. If we use air, the dye doesn't get diluted and staining becomes very fast. Little bit of adrenaline. Now, the dye is washed out. Now, I use only HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose in intumescent cataracts. This is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, capsular excess is to be done, but before that, we have to do this side port. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. Now, the needle goes through this side port. The anticapsule is incised and an attempt is made to make a C flap. That means you make a puncture and draw the needle in such a way that it becomes a C flap. Now hold this flap and do a very small rexis. This is called a mini rexis. Now to decrease intralenticular pressure, the best way is to aspirate some lens matter from inside the bag. Yes, some cortical lens matter is being aspirated through this small opening. And as soon as some lens matter is aspirated, the intralenticular pressure drops drastically. And this small rexis can be easily enlarged into an optimum sized rexis at that time, there will be no tendency of the capsule to run out. See, here it is. I have injected HPMC again. No other viscoelastic substance. Always HPMC. And now, I use a Vana scissor and make a nick here. And now, I will take, I take the you it again, hold this capsular tag, go all around and enlarge this mini rexis into an optimum sized one. This is my usual way of doing capsular rexis in intumescent cataracts. And I am getting consistently beautiful results. In the last 10 years, I haven't found any Argentine flag sign. And now is the time to enter into the eye with the tip of the FACO hand piece. The tip is introduced and I'm going to do direct jaw. See how it is being done. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is held very firmly and the nucleus is chopped. The nucleus is held very firmly and the nucleus is chopped. This is actually vertical chop. I am holding the nucleus and very close to the tip. I use the chopper. Now the nucleus has been divided into four parts. Each part is drawn at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane and 
it is emulsified and removed. Fecco power used in this case is 65%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. That's it. The nucleus is managed. Now SPMC is injected again into the anterior chamber. A Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortex. Lot of cortex is there in this case. And the Simco cannula is being used to remove that. You can use bimanual irrigation aspiration if you want. That's it. The cortical matter is removed. See the air bubbles, small air bubbles that is sticking to the corneal endothelium. It hardly moves. Indicates that the endothelium is nicely protected by SPMC. This is viscoelastic substance and this is the intraocular lens. This is superfoof marketed by Apasami Associates. Nice lens, unfolds very quickly. That's it. Now, the viscoelastic substance has to be removed. What I am doing is, I am irrigating some BSS into the anterior chamber. I am going behind the eye wheel, irrigating some BSS into the capsular bag. And by irrigation only, a lot of viscoelastic substance comes out. And now, after removing some viscoelastic substance, I use bimanual IA to remove the viscoelastic substance further. That's it. The case is done. Some moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. There it is. And the side ports are hydrated. Friends, the main challenge in intumescent cataracts is not the other steps. All steps are routine except the capsular axis part and always do a small axis, aspirate some lens matter, decrease the intralenticular pressure and then enlarge the small axis into an optimum sized one. Now this is how you form the anterior chamber and once the interchamber is nicely formed, conclude the case.